Hello guys, welcome to Gauntlet's Race Mod. This is the installation video, which means we are done. The mod is actually finally available for you guys to use. So, to this this video will help you install it. Currently, uh, the mod is only available through the Nexus site uh, because Steam Workshop, while it's just been enabled with version 1.1 of Galactic Civ, doesn't actually do what it really, really should do, which is enable mods. It actually only enables some custom content, such as custom ship designs and custom races, um, but nothing fancier than that. So that really limits it. My mod really isn't fancy, guys. It's barely a mod. The only thing that really can't... Uh, be avoided is that it adds ship sets and that's really not supported by the workshop right now at least as far as i can figure it out so if i'm mistaken please 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 correct me um but i'm pretty sure the only way for you to use the mod is to manually install it yourself at this point so i've put it up on the nexus site so first up you need to find the nexus site and get the mod you can do that by going to www.nexusmods.com then you can go to Galactic Civilizations 3 and just search Gauntlet's Race Mod. Uh, it is currently version 1.0. It is the very, very first. Um, once you're here, you'll be at this page and you'll have a section called Main Files. You just click on that and make yourself an account or otherwise log in and it will start downloading the file. Once you've done that, it will save to wherever you ask it to save. I have saved it to the desktop. It'll be Gauntlet's Race Mod dot zip it's a very simple zip file you open it up and then you just want to extract that to your desktop once you've got that uh, there is a readme which very simply gives you instructions on the installation again um, installation is super simple there are two main folders where you have to put some files where you have to copy and paste files <clears throat> no files in galactic civ are replaced or otherwise altered by this mod. So uninstallation is simply knowing that you need to remove all of my files. I have clearly labeled my files pretty well, I think. If you go under, say, the My Games files and Factions and look at, say, Portraits, all of them start with GRM. GRM, GRM, GRM makes it very clear what belongs to my mod and what is not part of my mod. Whereas on the other, and the only other things that really don't do that are the custom races. They have to be named what the custom races are actually named. And then the actual ship designs um, are labeled based on the sort of, excuse me, um, the sort of ships they are. Um, I always start with zero though, so that makes it pretty easy. As you can see, they're all zero, 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 zero. All right, so installation you got two main files game directory my games dash galactic 3 game directory means you have to go to the installation file of galactic civ for most people that's going to be under your c drive uh, program files x86 for a lot of us then you need to find steam then you need to find steam apps then common and then finally, Galactic Civilizations 3. Once you're here, you will notice there's a folder called Designs. And in the game directory, there's also Designs. You can just drag it over, the two folders will merge. All you are doing is adding the files inside this to the files inside here, which I have already done. We're then going to do the exact same thing, but for a different area. This other folder and its contents need to go under your My Games folder. To get there, you usually go to Documents. Once you're at Documents, you go to My Games. You'll have another Galciv 3 folder. And then here are the various content folders, such as Factions and GFX and Mods. You'll notice inside here, we really only have files to add to three of the folders. Again, you can click and drag the whole file, the folders over and you'll be prompted to merge everything and that will work just fine. Um, or you can just go into each one and copy and paste what you need to move over. Uh, so for example, in the mods folder, I have my own mod folder called gauntlet mod. You just drag that on over into there. Very simple. Under factions, 
uh, there's files in the backgrounds, the foregrounds, the logos, the portraits, and the custom races. Again, just drag them over to the appropriate spot under My Games. And finally, you have Designs. Um, designs is kind of optional. Uh, we did Designs in the game directory. That has the actual ship designs. These are my components, uh, my custom components. Technically, you don't need them. If you open up one of my designs and you haven't installed these files, there'll be a blank part every time I've used one of these. If you try to mess with that part, your game will crash because you don't really have the file. Uh, but otherwise, the game will work just fine as long as you're not trying to mess with those particular parts in those particular designs. Um, I don't recommend that. I recommend just porting over all of these component files. That way you can mess with the ships to your heart's content. And hey, you can add on to what I've created. You know, you'll have my turrets, you'll have a lot of my hulls and a lot of my different little pieces. Um, you'll probably notice I, in the grand scheme of things, I don't have that many really. Um, so I do a lot of my work by hand. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of files, there's a lot of ship sets. Um, so yeah, I really hope you appreciate the mod. Um, that's really it for installation. And once you're done, you can just go ahead and play the game. The only thing you really need to make sure of is that you do have mods enabled in your settings in the game. And once that's all done, you're good to go. Have a great time. Thanks so much for listening, and uh, feel free to comment, private message me, email me, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me if you need any real support. I really don't mind, and um, yeah, I'm here if you need me. Thanks, guys.